Hello. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're going to look at is an excellent app for anybody that's using an Android box for television viewing, which is pretty much the best reason most people get an Android box. When I first got my first Android box, I didn't know a whole lot about it. I hadn't really studied it much. I you know, just hadn't been doing this for very long. I was just a fan. And I wanted to watch TV. And I had trouble finding the right kinds of things to watch, like the right sorts of apps. Let me show you an app that will take care of a lot of those issues for early users. You see, I've already searched for it. It's called the TV Store. TV Store for TV Apps by GoCo. You install it right from the Google Play Store. It's free. And that installed nice and fast. I'm using an Ethernet connection on a App Store. This is the OneNuts media player here. Now, because I've installed it before, it already installed on my Android player in little shortcuts. But, I mean, of course, this is going to be... You could have a completely different Android player screen. But, let's just open her up. Give you an idea of what you're dealing with here. So, you see a pretty basic interface. You can close out some of this stuff. And what you see is an overall website. And what you've got here is a search where you can look for specific things. And if it's included in the store, it will show up. And you've got categories here. So if you jump into the app categories, you'll see a long list of different options. And you might think, oh boy, here we go. The, here's the good news. For all of these apps you see, they're all designed to be used on a TV. Some of them are going to be Android TV apps specifically, and in other cases, they're apps for Android players that just work right. You may need an Air Mouse like this one. This is an A2 Lite mouse from Minix. It's always been one of my favorites. But in general, they're things that you're going to be able to watch stuff on versus something, you know, this it's not going to have calculators and spreadsheet apps and things like that. For instance, let's just jump in to something like education. See these apps here? These are going to be TV type apps. Like you might recognize something like PBS. You got kids, you want them to be able to watch what they want. You take a look at what it offers. You can see what the developer has put together. But in order to actually download it, what you do is you see these, these little dots here. You come over to the side. You click on it. And it gives you an option to open it. When it says open in these things, what it's doing is asking you to select an app store. So when you click on Google Play, what it actually pulls up is everything that you've got available. I have installed Aptoid and Aptoid TV separately, and there's also the Google Play Store. Now, where you get an advantage on that is that if something's already in the Google Play Store and it's all set for your device as it is, all you have to do is install it. And we'll let that finish up should be just a second to do, do all right there we go we're going to go ahead and bounce out of that and we're going to take a look at ted talks see ted talks you open it in google play and what's it say your device isn't compatible with this version now this is not necessarily true although there are a few major apps that will not work one of them is netflix a lot of the apps designed for Android TV will work as long as you've got something like Android 6.0 or 6.1 and, and further along. So that's why we have the Aptoid stores. So we click open in Google Play. Click on, for instance, Aptoid TV. And we're going to ask it 
to open it in Aptoid TV. So, we'll go to TED Talks. Install it. You see, it's just as fast, it's just as seamless. And we're going to get out of that. Let's see what we've got for entertainment. Anything jump out at me? Why don't we try? Let's see, we've already got YouTube Google TV installed. We've got a lot of them, good ones already. So it's, and I like that it acknowledges what you've got already. Let's try a well for Android TV. Do they have anything else? Oh, they did the Huffington Post app, okay. So, we're going to go to that again. Boop. Let's see if it's available in Google Play. It's not compatible. Let's see if it is. Aptoid TV. All right. We'll install it. Now we're going to start opening apps. So we just installed the AOL for Android TV. And let's open it. Let's see if she works anyway. Oh, it looks like we can navigate. And you see, over here you've got the standard Android TV type SDK. Let's just open that up real quick. It says watch. Yep, see it loads. Now we don't want to get in trouble with playing sound, but you see it loads. So, let's check out some other things. I'm going to go bounce back out of the front. And we'll go to all apps. Let's take a look at some of the other apps we downloaded. Let's see, where is that PBS Kids? Now, the PBS Kids app is actually designed for mobile devices, so you'll need your air mouse to get into that. But you see it's a big, bright, happy app. Jump into live TV. What's on? Let's see. One, uh, counting down and bang. If I remember correctly, that looks like Dinosaur Train. Let's see. Bang. Now. Dinosaur Train. Okay. Now, see how this is helpful? You click on it again. Bang. You got full screen. And now you're watching TV. Really quickly, really easily, without having to dance around too many different apps. I believe the TED Talks is going to work just fine. Let's see. Let's just tell it to watch anything. Yep, there's TED Talks. So you see, this is just a really nice app to help you find things to watch, things to use. And it's fairly easy. Now, 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 I'm going to show you something else cool about it. Because not only can you look via categories, let's say you want to find more Android TV apps. I mean, you might even have an Android TV operating system on here. If you go into the search and you write Android 
TV and search. This is all official Android TV apps and the results. So all of these are Android TV apps, and like I said, some of them may not work. For instance, I have tried the Android TV launcher on this device. It didn't work. Netflix doesn't work. But a lot of these apps do. And you've seen a couple of them in action already. In I mean, including the Hulu that's on this. Let me see what happens if I, if I can just pull it up real quick. There's TED Talks. Where are they hiding Hulu? Oddly enough, it is not in alphabetical order. That's the one thing that's kind of weak. There's Hulu. We'll go to open it. And when it loads, you'll see that this is like the standard Hulu that's meant for Android boxes. That you know looks like something you'd find on a Roku or a Fire TV. It works. It'll open up, start watching. Oh, there's a nice public topic. Game gets racist. So let's just not even go any further than that. But that's that. So, I really like that app. It's not perfect. There are going to be a couple of things that aren't going to work. You can't tell it. If you're wondering how you get something like Aptoid, I'll just show you real quick. It's fairly simple. Go on into your browser, and you just ask for it. Yeah, so you say Aptoid, search, install Aptoid. Bang. It's just that easy. So, I hope you found that very helpful. I wish I had known this when I got started, so I'm sharing it with you now. So that is the TV store for TV apps on Google Play. Please subscribe if you found this helpful and share this with your friends with a like. I'm Ryan Downey, the Streaming Advisor. Stream on, my friends.